County Commissioner. Also with me is Commissioner Hanley and Commissioner Nybert. And we are very, very uh, honored and pleased to be here today on this occasion. Um, I would like to welcome Governor Jim Justice, Senate President Mitch Carmichael, and Chief of Staff Mike Hall to the Mason County 4-H Camp. I want to introduce our 4-H Extension agent, this is Lori, and Lori is going to give us a little bit of the history on Mason County 4-H Camp. Isn't this exciting? I'm just so happy to be here. And I just have a very brief summary of the history of camp that's gleaned from some um, actual reports left at the Extension Office. So what is now known as 4-H began in Mason County in 1914. First camp was held in 1917, and several locations have been cited, but it wasn't until 1942 that the first camp was held in this location. In 1940, the Farm Bureau obtained a 56-acre tract at Southside for a county recreational center to also be used as 4-H camp. It was an exciting time for Extension and the community alike as this facility was to be used by religious, educational, civic, social, and fraternal organizations. Boy Scout uh, supporters were especially enthusiastic over the center and they played a big role in securing equipment for camp. The first camp was designed to fill the current needs of rural homes and communities. With families facing the challenges of the polio epidemic and World War II, less time was given to crafts and an emphasis was placed on conservation and preservation. Classes in the early years of camp consisted of soil conservation, animal judging, food preservation, charting, victory guarding, gardening, sewing, storytelling, and Bible stories, including others. The Farm Women's Club what we now know as the Community Educational Outreach Service Clubs played a big role in contributing to the manual labor to prepare camp for camp and providing meal production. Today, these ladies still support camp by providing educational and fun classes for campers. This tract of land became the permanent site of 4-H camp and has many, seen many changes in the past nearly 70 years. Campers have been housed in everything from tents, barns, and even chicken coops to what we now use as the, the bunkhouses. The previous dining hall that sat here before this one was demolished, um, I don't have a lot of accurate history on that. I don't know how old it was. But it was old enough to encounter sagging floors that allowed a view to the outside and enough leaks and mold to make the health inspector hold his breath. <laughs> So in, in 2015, the dreams of co-camp chairs Linda Roush and Lisa Arbogast to have a new dining hall began to take on a new life. Lisa formed a relationship with West Virginia National Guard, who has accepted our project as one of their own. After many meetings with myself, camp volunteers, and the county commissioners, the commitment to move forward was finally a reality. The Army National Guard began construction here in June 2016. And since that time, this dining hall has been a work in progress. Now, with the generosity of our West Virginia Governor, Jim Justice, we will now be able to fully complete this project and make improvements camp-wide to make a more enjoyable site for all 4 Hers and the others that use this camp. Thank you. Thank you. 
And, but the thing here that's so nice is, you see most of these parents back here? I want you to raise your hand if you grew up here at Fort Chan. My wife came here. There you go. <laughs> My mother came here. <laughs> So it means a lot, uh, and I think it's uh, very important to our county to keep this going. And so, you know, it's just it's really exciting to all of us that you're going to allow us to be able to finish this project. Um, okay, now I'm going to turn this over to Senate President Mitch Carmichael to say a few words, and then you can introduce the All right. Well, thank you for that rousing introduction. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> It is great to be here with you uh, this afternoon at this event that is the culmination, really, of a lot of effort over the years to build this facility to make it a modern uh, 21st century environment for 4-H, for you kids, to, uh, to learn faith, freedom, liberty, the values that 4-H teaches and the great things that it instills in our children and frankly in our parents as we've heard all of you that have been through this facility uh, over the years. This is a tremendous accomplishment and one of the reasons we're so proud uh, to share in this event with the governor is the fact that you, the community, have done so much to bring it to this point. And so the state of West Virginia is able to step in with some final dollars to push you over the top, to provide this uh, dining hall experience for your campers and for uh, all the different events that occur here in this facility. And I know we're here on the inside of a beautiful building on a rainy day outside. And, uh, the history that's been conveyed uh, about this 4-H camp through the many, many years. And it was said, it reminded me as I was thinking of this, of, uh, you remember the President John F. Kennedy? If you look back in your history and study all that, he came to West Virginia one time when he was campaigning for office, and he said, the sun may not always shine in West Virginia, but the people always do. And that's what's occurring here in this facility, is that while the sun may not be shining today, it is a bright day for the people of uh, Mason County and for the 4-H community as we move forward uh, for the next generation of this facility to provide dining hall experiences, and just so many values that are conveyed through 4-H. So it is with great pride uh, that I introduce to you the 35th governor of West Virginia and the man who's signing the front of this check to fix this facility and to uh, enable it uh, to perform the functions that we go forward in the next uh, many years for this facility. So join me, please, in giving a warm Mason County welcome to our 35th governor, Governor Jim Jones. You're going to remember forever. 
Now, a lot of you probably dream of, well, I just hope I can leave and go somewhere else. And when you leave, you'll find out real fast that these friendships are the friendships that really mean something to you. Now, I can't thank our commissioners and our delegates, all y'all, enough. I can't thank our queens. You know, my, my little honey is sitting right here. <laughs> now. And, and 10,000 years ago, we were married. And, and, and literally, we went to Marshall together, we went to high school together. She was a leader in 4-H. Now, it is, it's this part of me and Kathy has never done. You, would it be hard for you to believe that Kathy was the 1976 quarter horse queen in the state of Michigan? <laughs>
volunteers to get this done, and we all really need to give these ladies.
Wait, I'm not coming back until we get to the bunkhouse. <laughs>